Hello my beautiful Leos. Welcome to my channel. I wish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart and let's get started with your you versus them reading. All right, Leo, let's look and see what the love oracles have here for you romance angels past life relationship you have known each other before we have keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents all right so what we're going to look at leo this is you this is them and we're going to look at the bottom of the deck energy coming into this. There, You are tussling, you're undecided about whether this relationship can bring you the happiness that you seek. You don't know what the other person's commitment level is, but we do see that there is a sense of, you know, maybe giving up. But we have two tens here. The hanged man is Pisces energy, so it indicates that you're trying to look at things from a different perspective uh, after feeling as though something happened that made you feel abandoned or like you could be abandoned. But the Ten of Cups, beautiful energy, beautiful energy, happily ever after. So Leo, I'm getting here. What we have is we have Virgo, we have water sign energy we have sagittarius sun here you are in your reading the sun card we have virgo again so you may be dealing with a virgo we have queen of cups which is cancerian energy the moon is pisces aquarius and um aries okay so a lot of fire sign energy some water sign okay so what we see in terms of how you felt in the recent past you really would like to have a relationship with this person for some of you you may be you may be married to this person uh, for others of you you could be living with them but really indicates that in the recent past the energy between you and your partner from your perspective was the ten of pentacles you were in it to win it you know you this is a, your happily ever after we see right now that your energy is that you very much love this person um, the way you view the situation right now is a knight of wands you feel as though there isn't as much stability as you would like this person again you know you vo view your person as someone who brings you great happiness this is reverberating through the reading happiness happiness um, what you feel in your heart space for this person is that you are dedicated to going the distance and to taking your time in getting to have the relationship develop into a long-term committed relationship. The Queen of Cups indicates that you are really showing that you love the person, that the path forward is through love. The hidden energy that you have is this energy is actually what I see is that you just don't know what you don't know you feel as though you don't know enough information about this person your fear is that they will betray you i don't feel as though that has come to pass but i feel as though this is very much a fear again leaving this ten of cups energy as the overriding energy coming into the reading you do feel as though this is your hopes and wish in terms of your fulfillment and love this is feeling a really spiritual draw to this person this is certainly more this is everything i mean it is just everything you most of you know tarot enough to know that these cards are exquisite cards for how you feel about your person really shows that you absolutely see them as a rock star you know you don't feel very secure in this relationship at all um, and we see this beautiful Queen of Wands energy, the desire to move forward. This is your outcome card, though. How you feel at this time is very much that you want to pursue this happiness. You just don't know if you're safe. Okay, so there's really nothing to clarify here except for these cards indicating the, uh, the moon card. Why is the moon card? What makes you feel insecure in this relationship? What makes you feel insecure in this relationship? I'm trying to pull this out. Your oh, your spidey senses. So intuitively, you have a discomfort with this relationship. You want nurturance. You don't know if you're going to be nurtured. What else is is 
Leo afraid of? What is the fear here? What are the unconscious fears? The page of voices. It wanted to come out reversed. So it looks as though you may, you may know or suspect that this person isn't telling you everything. It really looks as though you suspect that they might have secrets. Um, I do get the page of inspiration. You are throwing caution to the wind. You are just, you've decided to over, to override your fears. And again, we have Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles energy so it really you know what we're seeing here is that you're willing to take take it easy take it slowly you're very passionate you're very much in love with this person leo leo you are in love with this person okay what else do we have about this moon card three of swords okay so we are seeing that you may be in a secretive uh relationship with them because the High Priestess keeps secrets. The Moon card is that which is hidden. The Ten of Swords is that card of betrayal. And the Three of Swords can indicate what we see here as a third party situation. So you may be the hidden lover, Leo. Or you may be having this relationship with your person and falling in love with them. So it can go either way. There are a couple of different storylines. For some of you, you're already married, but for some of you, you want to be married. So this can be either the single person. You know, Leo, you could be either the single or a married person in this relationship, but it definitely is coming into play. So let's go over here and look and see what the energy coming in for your partner is, Leo. The Wheel of Fortune, they feel really lucky to have met you. The King of Pentacles energy. That's the daddy card. That's the energy that says that they can go the distance. They really feel it. They feel as though meeting you was the luckiest thing that ever happened, that the fortunes are turning in their favor. The king of pentacles can indicate, again, that they're a father, but this is how they view you. Remember that. This is about how they feel about you. They would like to be this person to you. They would like to be your king of pentacles. And interestingly enough, we have the mirrored energy of the moon card. So I would say that the two of you are secret lovers, okay? And that your person just feels as though they're just super lucky, you know? They view that in a very, just like the universe dropped, the, dropped you into their lives as a total gift. You see them as the same thing, very much a beautiful energy in your life. So the way they felt about you in the recent past was the Six of Pentacles. They want to invest in the relationship. The way they feel currently is the Three of Pentacles. They want you in their life. You may work with this person. You may collaborate with them. It's very likely you met them through work. The way they see the situation is it is a young relationship, the Page of Cups. They are falling in love. They are bringing you a cup of love, but it is a page. How they feel about you in terms of how they view you. You are a temptation. The devil energy, they can't get you out of their head. They're really obsessed with you. The devil energy is oftentimes the dark side of the soulmate energy. We see the star card again here, mirroring the star energy. The two of you have a very spiritual connection. There's this feeling that, you know, they see you as their rock star. You see them as your rock star. You know, we even have the Queen of Wands here, but I'll, I'll wait. We have the Knight of Wands. Both of you are can't wait to see each other. Again, Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands, two decks, same person. Both of you are highly passionate. You get to see each other as often as you can. You rush to see each other. You know, it is in and out energy, so it tells me that the two of you are not married. Uh, but it is very passionate, very exciting. This relationship is off the charts with passion. The King of Cups energy really says, look at this, it matches the Queen of Cups energy. This is just a stunning relationship. Both of you are very much in love with each other. The Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands, the fiery passion. You both bring out this really intense heat that's very receptive. The feminine energy, the yin energy of the wands means that you like giving and receiving and you both like to have both energies. 
beautiful. You love this masculine quickness, you know. It's like the movies. It's like when you see a couple for the first time get behind the door of somebody's condo and all of a sudden they're against the wall and then they're, you know, rushing to the bedroom. They're stumbling over each other and then afterwards they push the hair off of one another's face. They, th There's all this love with this passion. The passion, the fire, it's just all emotion and all passion. Look at this, Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. So now this, this energy in this relationship is so profound that I I'm, I'm, don't typically do this, but I really want to do this is I want to overlay the energies here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to clarify to your person what their moon card means for them. And let's see why is the moon card here for your person Leo why is the moon card here for your person okay why is the moon card here why is the moon card here this is really beautiful this is intense love Leo 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 Ooh, look at this the heart of wands that's a queen of wands energy the heart of wands energy your person wants to keep it a secret how much they love you how compelling they feel you are they feel as though you are their per perfect match they cannot get you out of their head out of their mind and out of their heart literally all right so now we have the six of pentacles the three of coins i'm not going to clarify those we know what they mean the page of cups exactly what does the page of cups energy mean for you leo ten of pentacles <laughs> The Ten of Pentacles is mirroring the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, you are on the same page. Oh my goodness. This page is offering you a page of coins, but they want to offer you the Ten of Coins. So there's a strong desire for marriage on the part of your partner. Ten of Coins, Ten of Cups, Happily Ever After, Legacy, both are marriage cards. All right, so... What do we have here for the devil energy? This wanted to flip out. Passion, passion, passion. The bed springs are squeaking tonight. If you have a foam mattress, be careful. They, your, your linens could ignite in flames. Don't put a candle too close to the bed. You probably are, this person desires a lot of texting. They desire a lot of um, communication. This could also mean that you could take a trip together, air travel possibly somewhere. Why is a star card resonating in their reading like it's resonating in yours? They see themselves as a spirit of cups. Now, the Spirit of Cups is a King of Cups energy. The King of Cups is here. They see you as their rock star, but the King of Cups reversed means that they don't think that they can give you that cup of love right at this time, okay? So, but the King of Cups is there. The Knight of Wands indicates that they feel really heartbroken that this relationship may not go anywhere. The Five of Coins says that they're so afraid for this to end. This would be very, very sad if it ended. Again, I think that your person is feeling like there might not be a path at this time to commitment for the two of you. The Five of, um, the five of Coins really tells me that when they are not with you, they start to miss you. They start to become heartbroken. They start to almost feel a sense of depression, feeling left in the cold. When there's not enough passion, this person almost has a physical reaction to it, almost like, oh, what am I going to do? My Leo is not here. Why do we have the King of Cups energy? The Ten of Cups. Says, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Cups. This is a hidden energy for them. They don't have any fears. Whatever it is that they're fearful of, they're very aware of it. They're not hiding it. They're very self-aware of how they feel about all of this. Your person has fears. Those fears are very much that perhaps the two of you cannot have the relationship you want at this time. 
All right, so these dropped on the floor, but I think it's meaningful. The Two of Pentacles indicates that they do not want to juggle you. The Moon card reverse says that they would like for the relationship to be out in the open. The Movement of Cups means that that is a Knight of Cups, but they really want that to be upright. They want you to be a part of their future, but they're not seeing the path. They want to invest, but they don't know how they can at this time. And we have the Sky Father reversed. The Sky Father is a King of Swords, and or, yeah, the Sky. Excuse me, Sky Father in this in this deck happens to be what we they call the Emperor. So this person sees you as their destiny. They want you. Uh, the Emperor is Divine Masculine, and it shows that they very much want to manifest you in their lives. All right, why do we have the Queen of Wands here for our Divine Masculine energy? The Devil card. <laughs> oh, they are obsessed with you. Your person's not going to give you up. They're not going to walk away from you. Whatever fears you have that they're going to abandon you, forget it. You don't need to have that. The Ten of Cups is uh, Pisces energy. And now we have the Hanged Man, which is Pisces energy. So it indicates they just don't know. They don't know what the future brings. And that's their energy right now. So let's go ahead and take a look and clarify for you this energy in the same way. So let's go ahead and clarify the Ten of Pentacles. We're going to match their clarification. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We're clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. The Five of Cups says that you don't know whether you can have it or not. The Six of Voices is the Six of Swords. You are not going anywhere. You are going to hang right in there. It's heartbreaking to you because you think it's not possible, possibly impossible, but you are not going anywhere and you are making no apology for this relationship in your life. You are happy to have it. You are joyful with it. So let's see why we have the Knight of Wands here. How do you feel about the Knight of Wands, Leo? How do you feel about the Knight of Wands? How do you feel about the player in and out, passionate energy? Yeah, the Justice card. You don't necessarily like it. You know that it is not, it's not balanced for you. You have a sense of being thrown out of balance. You feel a little unraveled by it. The instability of it is bothering you. So why do we have the Ten of Cups? Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. You have the Ten of Cups. Why do you have the Ten of Cups, Leo? Really gorgeous. Wow. The Hanged Man in Reverse. So you, your person is in the Hanged Man position. So for you, whatever status you are, you would leave this person for, for you would leave, if you are already married, it indicates that whether married or single, you are you are in love and you would move forward. The hanged man reverse is, yep, I'm going for it. I'm letting go. I am going to just take the leap of faith. I know very clearly what I want. The seven of voices is the card that is clarifying the um, queen of wands. That is the card that indicates that you're a hidden couple. It does indicate that you feel that that's a little bit haunting. You know, you feel insecure about that, Leo. What else do we have? We have the star card. Why is the star card here? Why is the star card here? For our beautiful Leos, why is the star card here? The tower card reversed. Well, you see this person as your everything and you are not giving up. You don't care. Even if the relationship you feel is in an unstable situation, you are not letting go of the relationship. Okay, so let's see. Let's look and see. Let's see. So we have Queen of Wands. Okay, let's... I think that that's all the clarifiers we need. I'm really... This is really beautiful energy. This just speaks so loudly to two people who are madly in love two people who are not going anywhere. Your person, you see the ability to progress more than your person does. So let's look over here and see what the Oracle cards, the messages of love are giving you. What are the messages of love telling our Leo friends? 
balance, okay? One person is giving too much in this relationship. So it does appear to be you, Leo. So try to be balanced because with Libra, the Libra queen or yes, upside down justice card means you're not balanced. Why do we have, what's the Oracle advice for the tower card reversed? Healing, old wounds and childhood issues may need revisiting and that's what we saw here. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there is something about this relationship is healing old childhood wounds. No wonder. I mean, you. this to me would say then that you have abandonment issues. One of you or you know, somebody in this relationship may have lost a mother. You mo might both have had difficult childhoods of loss, of abandonment, of things that you couldn't control. Let's see why we have the High Priestess and the Three. Well, let's look at the Three of Swords. What's the advice for the Three of Swords for our beautiful Leos at this time? Integrity. Oh, okay. Leo, you really do not like to have anything hidden. It really says that this is a pain. This is very, this bothers you. You don't like secrets. You don't like this energy. You feel as though you're doing the wrong thing and you're a good person. So, of course, you feel as though that isn't great. Let's see about the Seven of Swords energy, what Spirit has to say about the Seven of Swords for you. New love. This is a new love relationship. You just didn't know what you were getting into. You didn't know how much you would just adore this person, that would love this person. I feel as though you went into this thinking, well, it's going to be a fling. It'll be fun. I'll let it go. We won't have a future. We both have places we have to be, things we have to do, and people we have to see. Wow. Okay. So let's see for your person what spirit says about the devil energy. What is spirit advising your person about this obsession with you? They're absolutely obsessed. It also means that they're in probably a dark marriage or a relationship which they don't feel they can give up marriage this relationship is move ah this relationship your relationship is moving forward to a sacred union well that is not surprising how beautiful is that all right what else do you need to know passion Try something you've never done before. Oh, I think that that's part of what you're doing. I think that, you you know, your passion is off the charts. Devil energy could even indicate a little bit of, you know, sweetness in terms of both of you having turns taking control. Uh, I get patience. Everything in the divine will unfold in time. Wow, that is seldom seen in a reading like this. Okay, chemistry, the attraction between the two of you is mutual. Well, we know that for sure. So Leo, this is what I see for you. That's what I have for you for your reading right now. Your you versus them reading in terms of how you think. Um, you know, it'll remain to be seen about whether this or when this relationship comes to fruition because according to this, this is going to lead to marriage. So. Be well, my Leo friends. Take care. Sending you love from Chicago, Irish Donna. And uh, send some back and tell me where you're from. Thank you. Bye-bye.